of you watching i can't believe this last year when i started my channel there were literally no people but thank you so much for uh the new subscribers i appreciate you so much and i love you so so much um if you are new here my name is nsobo and i am an english teacher in south korea i document um things that happen in my life sometimes on a day-to-day -day basis or um my travels in and out of korea so yeah welcome to my channel i hope that you like it here and i hope that you will stay uh today is the first of october and it is the start of a brand new month we're literally in q4 i can't believe this like the year is gone the year is literally gone um and yeah i've just been reflecting on things that i've done in the year and i'm just like i can't even recall because the year just flew past like that but also um i'm learning to be graceful and kinder to myself you know with regards to things that i haven't achieved and accomplished because like guys sometimes life gets in the way we're adults now and there are just too many responsibilities it's like sometimes you can't you'll have this checklist but it's impo it's impossible to check it all off so you just have to um you just have to do what you can 
so yeah that's pretty much it uh it is a public holiday in korea i would be lying if i said i knew what public holiday it is i really don't know but i'm grateful for the day of rest um and yeah my day has been pretty much chill i got up Oof, excuse the noise guys behind me um i live in a rural area so it's just a lot of stuff happening from time to time and because it's so quiet everything echoes so much so you will forgive me um oh i even lost my train of thought but i was saying that it's a public holiday and um yeah i've just been i haven't been doing anything hectic to be honest because i did a reset on sunday i just didn't film it because you know sometimes when you're resetting and you want to film it takes longer so i just wanted to get that out of the way so i did a reset on sunday and today i just i was just tidying up nothing too hectic so yeah um because it is the start of a new month i want to get into journaling i have so many journals yeah i have i have quite a few journals but i want to start a new one and i want to label it a gratitude journal um just to keep track of like my thoughts and the things that i am grateful for because i feel like my journals are all over the place sometimes i will write things that have happened sometimes i will journal things i'm grateful for sometimes i'll just journal goals and i just want to um reorganize that so yeah i want to go get myself a gratitude journal and i want to like spend the rest of the well not the whole day because it's only 3 p.m now but i want to spend some time journaling reflecting i also want to go get um what are those things those um post-it notes i want to go and get that as well um for my wall because yeah i just wanna I, th I focus better that way when i know that my things are up there so yeah um i actually have quite a lot to do not today but i do have stuff to do um i need to go to the dentist oh braces update so i finally got my bottom braces installed if you can see um it was quite painful it was more painful than the top actually and um the reason why they hadn't um installed um at the same time as the top ones is because my procedure was a bit different i had to i think i did mention that i got two teeth extracted on top um however the orthodontist said because we extracted two premolars we have to extract the bottom ones as well just so that when your teeth align um the alignment is good because like you don't want the gaps to close up here and then down here looks like a mess you know so i currently do not have teeth at the bottom if you can see so it's been quite challenging to eat yo it's i eat funny and i feel like it's it's starting to change my relationship with food because especially in public like now i'm going to be out and people are gonna, i feel like people are going to be staring at me um uh regards to how i'm eating but i'm sure people don't care about that stuff but yeah you know when you i don't know i guess i don't know but yeah um so the reason why i need to go to a dentist is because i have a cavity so after the extraction they found a cavity in one of my teeth so i need to go get a cavity treatment very soon i have between now and the end of the month because that is my next orthodontist appointment um and the only reason i didn't get a cavity like, like a cavity treatment last week was it last week when i got these I think the previous week was because there was a lot happening they had to extract my teeth and then they had to install on the same day which didn't happen for the top teeth hey it was just extraction and then the following week was 
um i think they had to they had to remove the stitches and then the following week then they installed so they gave me intervals but with the bottom teeth they were just like keeper saga so it's been yeah the first week was very challenging for me i'm not gonna lie it was such a challenge um but i think actually like the first few days and then after that my i started eating again i'm eating i'm chewing i just it's quite weird because i have gaps so now that the food gets into the gaps and then yeah if you want to get braces brace yourself okay like brace yourself i have to carry a toothbrush everywhere i go but i'm also glad that korea already practices that culture you know like they like in a random uh bathroom in a public bathroom you'll find um people brushing their they teeth so at least i'm not gonna feel awkward if i also have to do it but hey i need to look after my teeth so yeah if you guys want a detailed like step-to-step -step process of like my braces journey which orthodontist i go to let me know because um i haven't really spoken about it because i, I like i don't know if you guys would be interested in that but let me know i did see another uh creator her name is samgeli siwe sishi sishi i hope i'm pronouncing that right um she also uh, got her braces recently and she spoke about her whole journey like the breakdown and everything and she even filmed um herself getting the braces and stuff i didn't film that because i don't know i'm, I'm a bit shy when it, like yeah so i didn't film that but uh do check out her video i think her video was quite informative but if you guys would like to know my process as well feel free to let me know and i'll try and do um a detailed step by step of um how i got like my braces the cost it's not cheap be prepared it's not cheap at all okay so just be prepared um but yeah i think i have pretty much said my piece um oh yes the reason why i want to go and get a journal also i did mention that i want to jot down like things i'm grateful for but um in the next four months i will hit my two-year mark in south korea and although it's such a beautiful um like experience being here it's also quite isolating i mentioned this in my bali vlog i did touch on this like yeah being a is fun you get to travel and everything but it is such an isolating experience um yeah it's it's quite challenging i'm not gonna lie uh the homesickness is there but also i like i do not plan on moving back home anytime soon you know definitely visit but to move back i feel like i haven't accomplished the goals that i had said i want to like me to, like that being my reason uh for moving abroad so um yeah i really miss home it's spring at home it's events happening um what was happening there was that 947 event happening and i was like damn i miss that um the delicious festival happened chris brown is coming yo if you know me you know um so yeah you know it's just those little things you miss even like the food i really miss food from home guys i miss yo. don't take things for granted guys i miss boravors i miss um I miss Nando's. I miss Spur. The KFC here is doing quite. It's it's doing a lot better because initially I felt like it was bland, but I've tried out a few KFCs and you know what? They're really trying. So also because I live in a rural area, I don't have KFC. Yo guys, yo. But yeah, so I just wanna journal and just like pull back into myself and remind myself why I'm here um and yeah because it really does get lonely guys it gets so lonely um you do fall into like a funk quite often 
um, especially when it's like the time of the month approaches you really need to have like a strong support structure when you move abroad because <sighs> not for the faint-hearted the first year is good it's lovely like you you're excited it's the honeymoon phase you know you're excited to be in this foreign land but i think once you've settled and adjusted and you realize okay i've sort of built a life here but it's not home you know it's not home but yeah that's pretty much the gist of it um also this week is a very nice week because we have another public is it a public holiday on thursday so it's today and thursday today's a tuesday and then tomorrow i have my open class so my op an open class is um you t it's like a t it's like a lesson that you teach the only difference is there are moderators that come to watch you you know sometimes parents come but i haven't had instances where parents come so it's only like moderators or office of education that are coming um to evaluate my teaching and yeah so i am looking forward to that actually um what else yeah that's pretty much it guys so i'm not sure if i should step out to go buy food because i don't feel like cooking but i also feel like eating something nice um but let me let me go to Daiso to get this journal and then I will decide if I want to grab something on the way. So yeah, also I really talk weird. I feel like the braces are too big for my mouth. So my smile is still pretty. <laughs> but I talk weird. So yeah, that's where we at right now. Okay, I'll catch you guys. I've been talking for quite some time i've been talking for a while top leggings and i've got my beloved bali bag <laughs> okay let's go guys when transits going all to different places different planets got your aura past me by losing balance what if we were Time and second chances, empty handed. You like the fast life, you like to drive and get down and dirty like, like the bad guy. You want some love, be like when you feel like calling a midnight. I, mm, you got the best of me, you got me losing sleep. I've been hopeful, baby. I was hopeful. um the food was good actually and i'm lying it was decent guys <laughs> excuse me nothing will top suck that's why like i want to act on it in the option in a kfc live and guys is in a cafe in a nandos in a spur in a stairs look on a really play diabo man love shop sago strat in wafamba we are shower Ah, sweetele. Lawa no kuma sweetai phone zena ukuma pizza, kume pasta, 
cucumber burger what's the other one pizza pasta burger there's four things pizza pasta burger there's four things Ish. i don't know i'll remember but there's like four things that you find here so yeah maraswi jeki this one as we as we got excuse me if you don't understand try and learn other people's languages okay um yeah i am watching a podcast right now guys yo you see the person who told women to be gazela when i catch her because this lady on this podcast so it's called um i'm sure you know madam speaker on tiktok or yeah madam speaker she is a great advocate for women and women just like being seen and heard in society so she has her podcast and this lady is basically on the part uh, on the podcast saying that she was married to a man that was not married to her and wow the things that she is saying i need women to stop being desperate i need women to stop being desperate for men because this is not it um but yeah i'm glad that the lady has found healing and she has found love um this is the podcast hold on so yeah i just paused it because i'm still watching but please go and find this podcast love it anyway for the purpose of why i went out today i found my post-it notes -ish. my my nails are always ratchet ne? when i'm Wait, like in general i don't know i need to start being a a nail girly but the thing with me is the moment i start painting my nails i eat the nail polish but the braces help but sometimes i just peel it off anyway and then i got this Anyway, one thing about kutamala the popeye not the popeye like a country you the popeye too much why bookie i'm not the popeye but oh no does it have lines yeah. oh no oh. oh really it doesn't have lines Hi. i guess i'm just gonna have to practice my free hand but it was the cutest one i could find because all the other ones I let's do what we like i also like the the title but yeah that is it from me for today um yeah i'm calling it a day i will see you guys maybe tomorrow or in the next coming days but this is a weekly vlog so i will still be here Cause when I see you coming All I wanna do is tell you that I love you I know you're better off without me Cause your tears stay not Make it dark out when you're around me Like a needle lost in the sand The ink dried in my hand It's unthinkable Like a bird that never learned to fly I shouldn't ask you to try It's unthinkable but loving you was easy. See, when it was just you and me. Since you wanna leave it, then I'll pick up the pieces. Yeah, you said. I'm out of second chances And I know that I'm not perfect And this probably sounds really selfish But I hate that I'm not with you I just wish that I could tell you That my this time is the truth I lost the trust I understand But do I have to be that man? It's unthinkable But
you think about me? Are you thinking about me? Do you think about me? Are you thinking about me? Do you think about me? Are you thinking about me? Do you think about me? Are you thinking about me? Do you think about me? Today is a Wednesday and I just got, well, yeah, I just finished getting ready for work. Um, am I late? Okay, work starts in five minutes, but luckily uh, walking to work is a five minute walk. So, and I need to go to the convenience store and grab a bite for lunch because I didn't cook last night. So I only made a smoothie for breakfast. Um, yeah, I'll show you my outfit of the day. Hey, 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 why am I stripping for you guys? <laughs> My OOTD. Um, this shirt here belonged to my late grandmother. And here's a funny story. So she loved this top and I loved it too. And every time I had to take her to like um, places like to town or to go get her pension, she'd wear this shirt and I'd ask her to give it to me and she'd be like, mm -mm, over my dead body. So when she passed, she passed two years ago. Um, this is actually her anniversary month. So when she passed, um, I, I spoke to my mom. I'm like, mom, you know that shirt that she liked? May I have it? and um my mom was like okay but this is not the time to distribute because you know in like black families you have to wait a certain period before you distribute clothes and stuff so my mom was like no this is not the time to distribute um clothes when it's the time to do that you'll get it but then unfortunately i had to move to korea like four months later in feb so i'm so happy i got my hands on this <laughs> I know my favorite girl is probably like mm, when we meet one day I want my top so I really really love the shirt um, it just always makes me feel like I'm close to her when I'm wearing it and I feel like it's a good luck shirt I don't know but the one time I wore the shirt to a, to a job interview and I got the job so I'm also just wearing it as my armor not that I need protection but you know I'm having my open class today and I just when I feel that presence and yeah so that's the story about the shirt um I love it so much it's quite long and big so I tucked it in and then I just rolled up the sleeves so that it looks a bit you know because it's a bit big on the shoulders and it's a bit padded so I had to manipulate the padding also my hair is a mess yo yeah. it's a mess but you see living abroad you can't just switch up your hairstyles anytime because um it's money it's money but yeah let me get going it's 28 okay let me get let me go down to see you grab a meal and then head out to work i will not be filming my my open class so i'll fill you guys in later okay let's go I am at work now. I have about 15 minutes until my my first lesson starts. So just gonna have myself the smoothie that I made at home. I hope it's good. I just threw things in here. Banana. Hey, uh, in here there's basically everything that's gonna make, that's gonna give me bubble guts. But I should have added chia seeds, but I forgot. Yo, oh my god. So 
smells good but is it good it's thick Nice. It actually tastes like macheo. Because you know macheo's got that sour. Mm, guys, excuse my nails today. You know macheo's got that sour feel. So I added pineapple, banana, milk, and oats to make it thick and some honey. It's really nice so i'm just gonna finish this off and i will probably catch you i have um i finished my day well my classes at 20 past 12 so i'll probably catch up with you much later on in the day but yeah bye <sighs> it is finally the end of the day um my open class went really well my co-teacher loved it my kids loved it as well um yeah you know what i really teach some very smart kids so they really met me where they needed where they needed to meet me so the class was just flowing beautifully and honestly i'm relieved um i am having a glass of something because mm, so good because adulting and because i deserve it um plans for tonight i wanted to cook but i'm so lazy i don't think i'm gonna make something hectic so i probably will cook tomorrow but today i'm just gonna chill a bit read just take it easy tomorrow is another public holiday ah korea loves us so much so and I also have to unplaid. You know, this hair is tired, hey? I've had these braids for like two months almost. Um, and I've washed them so much because of the heat. I've been sweating. So, and also my scalp is very dry. Um, yeah, so I think the tomorrow's assignment is to unplaid, wash my hair, and make a plan for it. Yo. But yeah, guys, um, I'll see you tomorrow or friday okay bye I was a bit worried about my hairline, but it's, it could do better. Okay, I actually did push, hey? I still have this part. I started at like 9, it's half past 1. But I'm also just taking my time and um... I'm watching Love is Blind, so... Precious cargo Be careful with my heart, oh Say I'm not sensitive But I can sense if it's right for me Don't let your head get in the way Can't be defined by your mistakes
I know that I've neglected you yesterday, but you know when you're traveling, it's a nightmare. I live in the Bundus and Novisa lives like 65 hours away. So, <laughs> so I, didn't, I couldn't really pick up my camera yesterday, um, but we're back today. Um, we're going to a fellowship type of service today for, well, yeah, a lot of us foreigners, if I can say for foreigners. So I'm quite excited about that. Um, yeah just to get together with everyone and just worship so i really look forward to that um we're currently waiting for a taxi because we're going to grab a bite and then yeah i'll probably take you with also a bit later on but that's pretty much the gist of it um let me show you my outfit of the day Thank you. 
and our previous whatever we worship it, we start to make the rest. That distorts the worship. That's when Paul is saying that we go to self in prayer. After the second. So imagine from four people last year coming together. Like they booked a little Airbnb and they're like, hey, we need to do something about this, right? And the Lord was so faithful. You know, God has been so, so faithful to this group. There was a time last year where, yo, it was just like five, six, like we're in the group. And then some of you, you know yourself, you pick in and the out. And pick in and the out. Now you're here. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> You know what, we prayed, there was a time where there was prayer and fasting, that was happening, and we're like, there are people missing. There are people who need to be here, seriously. And God was like, you know what, pull my wine, let me just drink. Hey guys, I am here to close off this vlog. I didn't get a chance to close it off yesterday um, because I was so tired and I was traveling back from Seoul to my place. Um, but yeah, the fellowship was absolutely amazing i think it was also just like um it was very nostalgic it reminded me of my days as like a youth you know part of like a youth at a church and we would have like these all-night prayers where we would just like worship and sing and sing it was just yeah it was really beautiful it was even more amazing seeing so many south africans because i think it was it was a lot of south africans i think seeing so many south africans in one space just worshiping and praising and it was absolutely beautiful uh shout out to the the ladies who actually put that whole event together i think it was beautiful and yeah it was lovely i had a good time but now i am closing off this vlog um thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one